Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm Mar Jennings, and as you know, we've been here at Green Isle for just over a year, and we're not done yet. In true Avon style, she's added more projects to this ever-growing project here in Westport. And now I'm gonna focus my attention on the library and Hetty's bedrooms. Now, this is quite challenging because both faces are very, very tiny, teeny tiny. And those are the spaces I love to work on the most. It's gonna be challenging, but it's also gonna be fun as well. This library is definitely gonna be the room that the O'Kane family spent some time in. It's also gonna be their office. But most importantly, this library is gonna inspire me to get my own library card to this space. I was delighted when Yvonne told me that she wanted me to focus on Teddy's bedroom and her office area because really when we started doing all the different rooms and spaces at Green Isle, these two spaces are well used, well loved, and it was time for an update as well. Now this is Teddy's bedroom, another small space. Let's actually measure it because one of the big challenges is going to be is that Teddy is 13 years old and how do we take a 13 year old bedroom and also make it a little bit more adult, but still keeping very much in touch with his playfulness and his um, youth. Nine by 11. This is what I'm planning on doing here. Now he has a twin bed right now. I immediately want to update that and give him a full size bed. I'm going to create some storage underneath the bed because I'm going to have a platform bed built out for him. I'm gonna take advantage of this wall space and do some built-ins. We're gonna upgrade this entire room from floor to ceiling. We're going to paint and we're also gonna change a lot of the hardware. How do we balance the teddy bears and all the playful stuff that takes a lot of room, especially this guy, <laughs> takes a lot of room and infuse his personality but also pick up some great floor space. That's going to be the challenge and guess what? I'm up for this challenge as well. Yvonne and I agreed we would maximize a small hallway outside his room to gain floor space for a study area. So here's my punch list. So I have to paint the hallway. I'm going to install a custom desk for Teddy and also a bookshelf. In his bedroom, I'm going to make a custom-made headboard and platform bed, built-in bookshelves all around it. I'm gonna also bring a little character and charm of history into his space. That should be interesting. The library is going to be very, very sleek. I'm dormering the back area of it to pick up some space. Ross is going to build me a complete file cabinet area and open bookshelves. This is going to be one of those spaces that's going to be beautiful, absolutely gorgeous to look at. But when you start opening the drawers, you'll notice that these aren't just drawers, these are file cabinets as well. I didn't waste any time. We removed the roof line to build the dormer. This is a third new dormer on this house, so even their mini schnauzer Ivy doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Coming up, so while I'm learning so much about the family, I thought it would be my turn to teach them a little something. Snowboarding. Being part of Christie's International Real Estate proudly affords us the opportunity of engaging a worldwide audience. Our unique partnership enables us to bring the world's most desired homes to the world's most discerning customers. Higgins Group exclusive affiliate of Christie's International Real Estate provides an open passport to the world. Discover more about the Higgins Group by visiting our website, higginsgroup.com. Hi everyone, I'm lifestyle expert Bar Jennings. I'm the author of Life on Mars, Creating Casual Luxury. I'm inviting you all inside my Westport, Connecticut home to explore my six casual luxury design principles and it's full of practical tips that you can apply in any space. It's casual luxury made simple and smart. It's like an entire season of a home makeover show in one book. Order your copy 
now. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm updating two smaller rooms at this historic 1908 family home, the office and son Teddy's bedroom. There is just as much design work in a small room. I have a good handle on what the homeowners need for their office, previously called the library, but for Teddy's room, it's a different story. Okay, Teddy is at an age where you don't design for a child and you don't design for an adult. You have to design a space that is age appropriate, but also can last the test of time. That is really hard. I've done girls' bedrooms, babies' bedrooms. I've done a lot of different spaces, but I'm really struggling with this one. During the renovation, Teddy celebrated his 14th birthday. So while working with Yvonne, I had an idea for a fun treat. Hey, Lori, how are you? Hi, Good how to are see you. you. Good to see you. Welcome back. Thank you. This is Yvonne and Hi, Teddy. Nice to meet you. So, Lori, I've been talking to the O'Kanes a great deal about Ski Sundown and what makes it so fantastic and being convenient right here in Connecticut. I think this place is great. It's where I learned how to ski way back when. We are located in the Litchfield Hills of Connecticut and we have 16 trails of varying abilities. We have some nice steep terrain if you're an expert skier. We have some nice gentle slopes. We have two terrain parks if you want to hit the rails, go off some jumps. We've got a beautiful conditions for you today. Okay, let's do it. Let's All go. Right, let's go. So while I'm learning so much about the family, I thought it would be my turn to teach them a little something. Snowboarding. The key is that you're carving into your board and that's how you're coming down the mountain. Okay. But the best way to start is really just to come down straight, right? Yep, all on your heel side edge. Now Yvonne already has some experience, so she just wanted to brush up her ski skills. Part of my Teddy plan is to give him a chance to learn something he's always wanted to do, snowboarding. I was really impressed with how quickly he learned. Woo! 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 All right, let him go, let him go. Bend your knees, good. Arms out. Stop flopping your arms, good. Good, now skid. Okay guys, why don't we do one more trail and then let's head inside, let's get something nice and warm and then you can check this off your bucket list that you have snowboard and mastered it. Okay. Okay, let's do it, come on. With the lessons over and out of the way, we were able to really kick back and have some fun and experience the trails. After such a great day, I took the opportunity to see if I was on the right track with his room. I have a question for you because you're 14 now. Yeah. So what do you think about the idea of having a bigger bed? I love that. More you do. space. Because I'm space. a roller, I need space to roll around. And what do you think if I stick with fun colors that are clearly, you know, blue, shades of blue, playful, you know, because I know blue is a good color yeah, for you. Yeah, that's great. Clearly, he's ready for a more mature room. I feel so much better about the plans I have in mind. Something he can grow with. Cheers to the day well spent. All right, today is a very packed day. We're trying to stay on a schedule. Let me show you where we're at right now. Okay, so as you can see, the dormer has now been installed. We have changed the roof line. We were not intending on picking up any more floor space, uh, but when the opportunity presented itself to actually cantilever a little bit, we were deciding very quickly that that was a very good idea. Now I just need to make a final decision on the wall coverings. Patterns or solid? What will work best? Either way, this can't happen without me getting out of this room, so I'm out of here. Coming up, 
so what's the bad news? Had some trouble with Teddy's headboard. What it kind of trouble? It cost more than we originally quoted to do it right. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. While the O'Kane's new office has been coming together, I've spent my time on the other makeover room, son Teddy's bedroom. So I got to know him a little bit better, and now the designs are really shaping up. Ross has the most talented people on his team, and one person that has been hitting a home run from the very beginning has been Lucas. Now if you remember, he's made a lot of different things for Green Owl already. So when I drafted up the design for Teddy's bedroom, I knew that Lucas was up to the challenge and he would make it so beautiful and right to my design. Love the color. I know the moment she sees this, she's going to flip. She's going to definitely demand better linens, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll take care of that during the reveal. Hey. Hey, oh, hey guys. guys. How you doing? I'm good. So, oh, it looks great. Here are the drawers we talked about. Look at that. Oh my gosh, so, so much what? storage. A lot of storage yeah. for Teddy. He gets a lot of drawers, doesn't he? Does he does get a he lot of drawers. His bathroom and now his bedroom. Yeah, it's great. He could use it. We're going to really have pretty. hanging light from here. So I'm that's all set nice. up for the wiring, but I need to have the actual light fixture in order to get this completed. Okay, okay, we're on it. He can have his girlfriend over. <laughs> <laughs> and it totally works. <laughs> Trouble. Uh, <laughs> Trouble. <laughs> oh, to be a boy again. Oh. This, is, this is a G-rated show, guys. To be in a boy's bed. Right again. <laughs> we can honestly say we were the first ones on his platform. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's all you can see now, because the next time you see this room with Teddy, it's going to be completely done. So, green light, we're moving forward. Green light, moving forward, but you got to move, move, move. Oh, hustle, hustle, hustle. Hustle, okay. hustle. All right, let's do it. All Come right. on, we're out of here. All right, so the show has been airing and we have been getting some fantastic ratings, so thank you so much. And sometimes I like to take Team Mar to a local hotspot where we can actually watch the show on the big screen. We did just that at Little Bar in Westport. And can you believe it? I even got to be a bartender for Team Mar. I guess that makes me a mar -tender. Okay, we're here at Little Barn in Westport watching Mar TV, and I call this Eat, Drink, Watch, and Be Mari. Right. Watch your Mar TV. Look, official license plate, okay? Rocking and rolling while we're watching Mar TV here today, and uh, you're the best. Thank you so you're much. You're the best. I'm so happy you're here. Right? And guess what? While I was there, they also taught me how to make one of their many house special drinks. Yummy, delicious, Only with a little kick. We could get Woo! Woo! Okay. Wow. I mean, that not that fun? Just when you think that the headboard is going to be perfect and we're moving forward and it's going to be delivered right on schedule, I get a phone call that could ruin everything. My Mar Jenny's office. On why this is so important for us because how all the different colors Hi, are Mary. together. Um, yes, he is actually. He's right here. Hold on a minute. Mar, it's Mary. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, maybe she has good news. Let's hope so. Hello, Mary. Hey, Mar, how's it going? Good, how are you today? I'm very fine, thank you. I, I was just... To deliver a little bit of sad news. So what's the bad news? I had some trouble with Teddy's headboard. What it's kind of trouble? It cost more than we originally quoted to do it right. We, In order to get the pattern to, to match properly, to look properly, especially with the tufting, we need a... a a little more labor, a little more materials than we originally expected. So the design was to be tufted, and the question came up how it should be tufted, and perhaps maybe it should be modified in a different design. Well, I'm not one for change. After all, I am a Taurus, I'm a little stubborn. Okay, so listen, this is how I feel, Mary, and um, I can't speak for Yvonne, but I really feel like I almost have a like, gun to my head because we're on a very tight deadline. We need to get this done. But Ma, are you like things done right? I, I mean, that's what you're all about. Right. This is not what I expected. I have so many things going on right now, so this could totally blow up the entire deadline. Hi everyone, I'm lifestyle expert Mar Jennings. I'm the author of Life on Mars, Creating Casual Luxury. 
I'm inviting you all inside my Westport, Connecticut home to explore my six casual luxury design principles. And it's full of practical tips that you can apply in any space. It's casual luxury made simple and smart. It's like an entire season of a home makeover show in one book. Order your copy now. Escape. Rejuvenate. Relax into your perfect dream at Dream Spa and Salon. From couture, color and cuts, and hot rock massages to perfect pedicures, Dream has you covered from head to toe. Dream Spa and Salon. We welcome you to Dream. Welcome back to Life on Mars, the home makeover show. I'm completely updating two small rooms with big personalities, the family office and son Teddy's bedroom. There are lots of unique elements in store for each room. Now three days before the final installations, we hit a snag. And little did I know, it would not be the last. Yikes! So what's the bad news? I had some trouble with Teddy's headboard. What it's kind of trouble? It cost more than we originally quoted to do it right. I'm not one for change. After all, I am a Taurus. I'm a little stubborn. But guess what? We gotta do it. You know, if that stripe's a focal point in the room and if it's at all off, it's not gonna look right. It's gonna right. throw it off. Let's do this. I'll agree to that 150 if you can, in turn, give us $150 credit towards our future purchase. Oh, uh, yeah, we can work that out. All right, so it's not the worst news. No, not I'm the... sure you spend more on shoes than <laughs> <laughs> I've known That's you too good. long now. Yes! I love shoes! Can never have too many shoes. All right, that's my downfall. Oh my goodness. Uh, note to self, never put my shoe shopping experiences on social media, I guess, right? That's right. In the end, I think it was the right decision, but luckily enough, Yvonne was right there to authorize the process. Just when you think you've organized everything so perfectly, you have the wallpaper people arriving, you have the painters arriving, you have the electrician arriving, the headboard's arriving, and you think, you know what, this is gonna go off brilliantly. Perfect, orchestrated like you couldn't imagine. Guess what, catastrophe happens. Okay, so the custom headboard has arrived, and we have a problem. We measured 55 inches. Now that the headboard is here and we're checking on the measurements, we notice we have 57 inches. So two inches is a lot, it might as well be a foot. We also noticed they already pre-drilled the electrical for the sconces and they're too low. They have to be up here. So not only do we have a headboard issue, we have a sconce issue, we have problem. Ross quickly came up with a solution to frame out the headboard for a snug fit. But I really had to convince him that the lights were too low. So of course, when I saw Ross, I said, listen, we have to fix this. How can we fix it to have it look aesthetically appealing, but also have it look intentional as well? We went back and forth quite some time. Ultimately, I said to Ross, you know what? You need to lie down in this bed. Just There's lie no, down. Hello there. Okay, so, okay, so now, see, but, so see, even in worst scenario, okay? If there's, no one's moving the minute, light around. Wait a minute, put bed. that under your head. Okay. See? Okay, so now if he wants to read, he, look, he could be like that. Okay, he can move it out of the way. What can I say, Bob? Okay. Right? So, so now get up. Let's just see worst scenario where you hit it. Crisis averted. So this room is not ready, and of course, the hallway that transitions to Teddy's bathroom is also not on schedule as well. We're still doing some painting here, some touch-up. We still have to accessorize. I have to find a chair. Oh, there, 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 there's still so much to do here. Now, there's one thing you need to know about my design philosophy is although I have six core design principles, the one thing that is so important and so true to my brand is that I do not discriminate. I will go anywhere. If I can find something great, I always just look for the quality and then I look at the price. Doesn't matter where I go. 
Alright Yvonne, so are you ready to see your new office, once known as your library? I can't wait, I'm dying to go up there. Well, with a new name comes a brand new look. All Come right, on. Let's go. What do you think? Oh, look at this. oh my god, it looks beautiful. It's so different. Talk about a transformation, right? Look at what the dormer is at two feet. Look at what it did to the room. And we took advantage of that entire back area to customize that built-in. And here's Hermes. He's overseeing your hard work here in your new desk area. But what I really want you to see is this wall area that completely is reutilized in a brand new way. Look at all the storage that you have in the open bookshelves. I love the green tint on the frosted glass. But more, you put my kids back. That's I right, I sure pictures. did. Let's get Teddy and show him his Let's face. Him. He can't wait. Okay. All right, Teddy, so I couldn't keep you out of the hallway, but what do you think about your new desk area? I love it. I've used it for homework. It's such a great place to work. I know what you're really waiting for is what's behind that door. So I think it's time to finally take this down. Oh my God! What do you think? What do you it's think? awesome! Thank you. All right, so this is the best of being a 14 year old boy. We maximized the room. We totally were able to give you a lot of storage, but we most importantly kept your personality and character while minimizing the furniture that's in this space. And what do you notice there? Um, snowboarding. That's right, that was from our fun afternoon. You look like a pro there. And to accommodate the full size bed in here, Teddy, we had the bulkhead removed but we pushed it up and these corbels are nice and antique and weathered. And it's that little character and personality that makes this room look like it's completely redone. But yeah, it still has this little nod to the past, the history of the house. So how did I deliver? Amazing, it's everything I've ever wanted. All right, so let's blow it out. Go Green Isle! I used all six of my principles. Here are just a few examples from each. Represent Mother Nature. There are touches everywhere, but I love the weathering on the bust in the office and the birch branches in Teddy's bedroom. Embrace light and reflection. In the hallway, now the study area, the mirrors on the wall and the silver mirror table bring light into a fairly dark spot. Natural materials and colors. The sizal carpet, the linen fabric, and the cane backing on the desk chair in the office are all organic. The lighter tones make the room look and feel larger too. Repurpose. A real find, this once distressed entire table was rescued and loved, becoming the perfect alternative to a cookie cutter office desk. Repeat shapes and patterns. Squares are the pattern of choice in this bedroom as the custom headboard bookcase and bedding all repeat this visual pattern, and I even reflected the window squares on the new skylight cover. Consider size and scale. This was a key in making all the areas function better. In the office, redesigning the closet freed up the floor space that would have been used by traditional storage units. In the bedroom, adding a chest of drawers would mean giving up the chance for a full-size bed, so I moved the storage under the platform. I purposely scaled back the width of the built-ins so they don't overwhelm the wall. And in the hallway, angling the new desk means that it's well proportioned but stays functional. And there you have it, the end of another fantastic reveal. Always remember the casual luxury is the cure for all design dilemmas. It works for any style and for any room. It has no boundaries. Green Owl has had a slew of projects for sure, from inside to out, from top to bottom. I'm still not done here yet at Green Isle. I still have to do the grand staircase foyer, the bonus room now being referred to as the studio, the laundry room. For more information, make sure you head over to my website, marjennings.com. And until next time, I'm Mar Jennings. Keep it casual. We are live in Teddy O'Kane's bedroom as the upcoming changes present itself and Raw from Keep and Taller makes the executive decision to bring us home from the finish line and how do you plan on making this all happen, Raw? I don't. <laughs> <laughs>